Mr. Gough Islands. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's my first chance to comment on Bill C-57. I put the question to my friend from Nepean. It's heartening to see some reference to climate in trade agreements, but we know that uh, over more than a decade since the creation of the World Trade Organization, the WTO has wrongly put itself above international climate agreements in terms of its authorities. And I think this is an, a welcome opportunity since also President Zelensky is a champion of the call for climate action. Would the Honorable Member for Nepean support a call to the Honorable Minister for Trade to review uh, the relationship between the WTO and international climate agreements in order to get the WTO to back off interfering in climate action? Member for Nepean has 50 seconds to respond. Thank you, Madam Speaker. As I mentioned in my speech, the collaborative efforts to develop green technologies and renewable sources will contribute to a sustainable and environmentally responsible future. That is uh, what uh, we have said uh, with this agreement, and I'm sure that uh, the Trade Minister in the future negotiations with the WTO will certainly bring up uh, the climate-related issues uh, that can also be part of the future uh, WTO agreements. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Resuming debate, the Honourable Member Foothills. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker.